The last movie today is October Sky, which is amazing. Um, it's based on a true story, but like all movies based on a true story, there are a lot of things wrong with this movie. Um, although Homer Hickam, who the movie is based on, does like the movie a lot. He thinks it's still a good message no matter what. But um, it has Jake Gyllenhaal as Homer Hickam and Laura Dern as Miss Riley and Chris Cooper as Jake's dad. And, and it also has, if anyone remembers Steve Harvey's show, it has the actor who played Bullethead in this. And I always love him because he's so funny. Like in this movie, he's, he's really funny. Um, but the thing is, is that in this movie there are four guys. In real life there are six, not four. And there's a character in this, he, he the guy here, he plays Sherman O'Dell. But in real life, Sherman and O'Dell are two separate people. They were not one person. And in real life, Sherman has already passed away. He died when he was 32 of a heart attack. And, um... Odell's still alive, so, yeah, uh, they put him in one person. I don't know if it was because Sherman's dead and they didn't really know the history of him too well or whatever, but they could have ask, asked Homer, I'm sure, but I don't know. Um, but this movie is so good. I saw it a lot in the theater. I was obsessed with this when I first saw it, and, um... And it got on VHS and I saw it so much on that. And then it got on DVD. And it got, I don't know what happened. This was a, this one was a replacement for it. I don't know what happened to the other one. Um, forgot. But then I got this one. And as you can see, this thing got broken. I don't know how that happened. But, yeah, but, but um, this story is about Homer Hickam. Who wants to be a rocket scientist. And it's, he lives in a small town of Colwood, Virginia, and a lot of people don't support him and his dream, except for his friend and his teacher and his mom, um, and some of the townspeople. I mean, there's like one townsperson that really does believe in them, um, but it's just really good. I think it is one of the best movies ever made. Um, as it says at the beak at the top, a great movie, and it's a great movie. Yes. Um, I think this is Jake Gyllenhaal's breakout movie, or I don't know. I think it might be one of them. Um, I know Bubble Boy was released too. I don't know if it was his first. Or this one is, was his first, but this one is really really good. And um, oh, and Homer never went in the mines. It's probably just doing the big moment but he never goes in the mind in real life um but again like homer he does like the movie so i mean if i used to watch a movie and i found out that the person that's about didn't like it i might not watch it again because i don't respect for their wishes but if they like it even if it's wrong then it's fine i mean homer heck i mean not a lot is wrong but um there are stuff that are that is wrong, um, because it's again it's to entertain you, not to have like a documentary type feel to it. Although I wish I would do a documentary on this, and you know, and get the actual story out. That'd be really cool. Um, oh, and the mom in this, I know people from really obscure for a really obscure reason, like the mom in this was Jill's friend of home improvement. That's where I know her from. So yes. Um again like I know people like the obvious people that I see and stuff in movies are like little people characters from like shows that were on when I was growing up and I just remember them for th from that. But I'm sure they were on bigger things besides like home improvement but I know her from that, a home improvement. She played a Jill's best friend. Um, Chris Cooper, I've seen the Sea Biscuit, and that's another. That's it. That I've seen with him in it, I think. But um, you know, he must have play really tough people, like people who don't believe in that person that wants to succeed, 
and um, I wonder how he is in real life. I think, well, there's like a behind the scenes on this and he seems pretty cool, but uh, I wonder, did he ever play anything that wasn't so intense, that was funny? Um, I want to know that because I want to see him in a different role. Um, but that's all. I'll talk to you tomorrow with three more movies and goodbye.